Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you're all doing freaking fantastic today. Um, today's video is going to be a little all over the place, if I'm going to be honest. Um, so I basically have an art tag that I'm going to try and do in this video, as well as talk about this painting and show you guys this awesome speed paint. Um, so if I can find it, I wanted to include a little clip from an old video. And uh, basically for this painting, I was painting over an acrylic pour that my mom did a while back. And I actually got it on camera and on film. And I did that acrylic pour painting video like a couple months ago. And it was like last year sometime, not like this year. But yeah, if it's not too much work, <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to go back and snip the little clip or whatever and put it in um, but I don't even know if I'm going to like to be honest it might be too much but I'm gonna try to find that clip so hopefully you saw what it looked like when it was getting poured and how magical it is to watch but yeah this is like a little painting and I freaking love this painting so much you guys you don't even know like this is, might be my favorite thing I've ever painted in my entire life which kind of annoys me because it didn't take as long as some of the other stuff and again I, I'm going back to this thing where I'm like oh the big stuff needs to be my favorite because it took the longest but no this is legit I think my favorite piece I've ever painted oh and especially now that it's freaking varnished oh my god it's like glittering and magical <laughs> i love it so much and i hope you guys like it too and i hope it looks kind of cool going together and actually towards the end and i'm sorry about this but um i wasn't able to film the last bits of it so um you're um, not going to see how i did the little glittery sparkles as well as the signature and the mushrooms but like and you guys know this like i do those in so many paintings <laughs> so it's like you can go see um them happen on any other video pretty much besides the last couple because again i haven't been finishing pieces on camera but um yeah i'm sorry about that <laughs> but hopefully it's really cool to see like the portrait come together and just to see how i incorporate the character into the space and everything um, and I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the actual painting. Um, I'm going to put more information about the piece itself down below in the description, as well as like the different materials I used and the music and all that good stuff. And like the actual focus for today's voiceover, I was actually going to try and attempt this freaking art tag. Um, and I'm not really good at tags or like Q&A videos, I guess. Um, I kind of, I feel like I usually don't prepare enough for them. I kind of like to answer things just on the spot. So sometimes my answers aren't super like deep or meaningful or anything. Um, but I was actually tagged by um, my niece Nicole Fine Art on YouTube, who is one of my completely favorite art YouTubers. Um, she's not a very big YouTuber, guys. She's like, I think she only has like 70 something subscribers and she's so freaking fantastic so if you do not know about her or have never seen her art or watched one of her videos i will link the video and her channel down below as well as her instagram she is freaking amazing oh my god like her personality is so freaking nice and she's like the nicest and her art is so funky and colorful and i love it and i just love her so much so i will link her down below in the description um as well as a few other artists that i'm going to be tagging because the last question is to tag four other artists so i'm going to tag some artists once i think of any um and yeah i'm just going to get right into the questions again don't expect some like life-changing freaking answers but i'm going to try to answer them to the best i possibly can so the first question is and this one's like probably the easiest one um <laughs> but it's uh if you could only paint with one medium which one would it be and like you guys already know mine's acrylics <laughs> like okay so acrylics and i don't want to get in this is see i feel like this is going to be a long ass video if i keep elaborating on stuff but like acrylics are the best <laughs> oh my god dog chill out <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. My dog decided to like play with the other dog and then they got angry and I don't even know. Okay, so yeah, acrylics are the best. <laughs> um, like they can be used with oil, not with oils. They can be used like oils with blending and you can use them like watercolors and thin them out and there's mediums and they're fun and they're bright and they're happy and they dry quick and you can be quick with them. I love them. <laughs> like they are my favorite medium of all time for sure. However, I do like oils. I do like watercolors. I like pretty much everything except like drawing and pastels and stuff. But any type of paint, I'm all over. So, but yeah, acrylics are my favorite for sure. Okay, so question two, and this is like one of the ones that again I like. I think I know, but I really don't know an answer to really. Um, if money wasn't an obstacle, where would I want my dream art studio to be? And like legit, I want to live in a big, big ass tree. <laughs> like I want to be like full on like forest spirit live in my big tree and just paint all day in the woods like i just want to be in the forest i don't really care where it is i'm pretty not picky with where i am like right now i'm in freaking ohio 
And like it, anywhere is pretty much an improvement on Ohio, to be honest. But like, I want to go anywhere. Like, I could go anywhere as long as there are trees. Like, I just want to be in the forest somewhere. So maybe like somewhere in like Norway, somewhere. I feel like I like colder weather, so maybe like Norway or like the UK somewhere. Probably Europe because Europe seems magical, and I've never been, but I'd love to go to Europe or like Spain or something. Um, or maybe like the West Coast even. Like I don't know. I would go freaking anywhere. I just want to live in my big tree <laughs> or just like live again like in the forest somewhere i'm not super picky though i could live anywhere the third question is if money not i read the wrong one if you could only use one type of paint color for the rest of your life what color would that be purple duh <laughs> like you guys i feel like okay yeah purple like you guys know it's purple um if you could paint a portrait of any entertainer or celebrity who would it be and like honestly what the like questions that revolve around like famous people or celebrities or anything like that I feel like my answers I don't even know I don't have like a set answer because I don't really have an ideal for it I feel like I'd want to paint one of my favorite musicians or something to like do Florence from Florence and the Machine or Aurora or like Lana Del Rey maybe well maybe not Lana because a lot of people paint Lana but like do a really cool picture of one of my favorite musicians or something um I also really okay and this is kind of going back to my childhood but I used to watch a YouTuber her name is Ayas Cupquake and she did a lot of gaming and stuff and I more so watched her art type stuff so when she was painting or doing diy type stuff not really so much on the gaming but just i watched her a lot um and uh i don't watch her that much anymore because again i don't really watch gaming videos and that's really all she does but just her aesthetic and just her like love of art and creative people i freaking love her and i've painted her before um and i'd love to do a really awesome portrait of her just to kind of thank her for being so inspiring to like little fetal david <laughs> and making little david want to like paint and be a little boss ass i won't say a bad word but like i just i i don't know i i feel like i'd want to paint her or a musician or just like someone well yeah her or a musician <laughs> okay so next question and this is another one about famous people and again i don't even know like this one it's gonna be the same answer but if i could have any influential person in the world on a piece of my artwork who would it be again favorite musician or um, maybe, like, oh, you know what? Maybe, like, having, like, Lena Danya or Happy D Artist or someone, an artist that really inspires me have a piece of my art and love it just as much as I do. Like, that would, that would be crazy. I don't know. I don't really think about famous people or really important people liking my work. It's just, like, a weird, surreal thought, kind of. Anything where my art does anything really, really cool is kind of weird. Um, so I don't really think about it too much, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, ooh, that would be, like, really cool. But yeah, probably, like, a famous artist or... Um, one of my favorite musicians again just someone who inspires me on a daily basis but really i mean anyone like <laughs> i just want people to like my art and to want my art like that's i want anyone to freaking love my art because if you get my art you're influencing me and i love you so okay next question <laughs> um is what would be the brand of paint i would die to own like an entire collection of and probably golden because golden's my favorite acrylic paint brand i've never used a lot of like other professional grade paints but i just want a bunch of acrylic paints um i actually would love to have a whole set of just like neon professional grade paints because right now all my neon paints are kind of a mixture of professional brands and student grade brands to get all the different colors i need so i'd love to have like golden like neon paints i don't even know if they carry neon paints but like i just want heavy body like super bright super vibrant neon paints that i can incorporate incorporate into all of my different paintings so uh yeah golden or just again just neon colors that will stay neon for a long time and have really nice high quality okay and then the next question um i'm going to say the same thing i said for the other questions about famous people i'll have happy d artist or lena danya or any artist who inspires me or a musician interview me the question is um if i could have oh wait if i could be interviewed by any person about my creative process and my art and all that stuff who would it be and just that thought of being interviewed about something like that is crazy and weird sounding <laughs> so like i mean i'd have anyone interview me like interviews sound fun but like probably someone who's really inspiring to me or someone who um i really look up to so again not a really great answer but that's what i'm gonna say <laughs> um so the next question is if i had one year to fully work on any one series and just like paint non-stop never get bored of it just all hours of the day just create and make something amazing out of it like what would i want to paint and i feel like i could I feel like that's scary because I feel like I'd get bored if I did that because right now it's even hard just to like, I don't know, like, I feel like I'd get bored, but if I'm not going to get bored, I'd want to do, I feel like, and I've been wanting to, wanting to do this for a while now, but I want to create like my own little galaxy, like 
universe of some way and like I would love to do like a painting of maybe like a 10 series painting and do pretty big paintings and for every piece have it be like a view and a character from a planet that I've created you know but then in each painting in the sky you can see all the different planets and then there's a series in every painting focuses on one of the different planets that I create you know so like you have one planet and it might be like very like like I don't know I could do like an aquatic planet you know or maybe like do one that's very like foresty and jungly like I don't know I feel like that's a really cool idea do you guys like that idea like I can excuse you no be quiet don't do that hold on okay well she might bark a bunch I don't even know but like I feel like I like that idea I could even do that like I might do that do you guys like that idea like I, le I like legit might do that even if I just do like a little series like do like four paintings or something for it. like I don't know I might do that though but yeah that's what I want to do or just like in general I'd want to do just like a super intricate series about like fairies or elves or something I don't know just something magical as long as it's something magical I'm down but yeah that's my idea um the next question is uh if I not the right one if <laughs> what is one painting technique or theme I wish I could conquer and I'm going to say just landscape painting in general um as well as like loosening up my technique and loosening up my brush strokes and being more impressionistic with my painting um I'd love to loosen up with my backgrounds and my landscapes and I'd also love to conquer just like composition in general and getting down like lighting and value and just really making really eye-catching dramatic pieces with really cool lighting because right now I think my lighting is really pretty and it's magical and it's very fantastical but it's not super realistic yet and I don't really I don't really want to do realism because so many people do realism but I'd love to incorporate like realistic shadows and highlights and skin tones into the paintings I already do and the style I already have but probably landscape painting and just like in general just like improving my composition and just nailing the basics of painting um so yeah Okay, so the next question is, in 100 years, what would I want someone to say about my work when they look at it for the first time? And this is another one where it's like, I I don't really have a good answer for it because that just seems crazy. I feel like I just want people to like it. Like just to look at it and kind of get lost for a second and appreciate the details and to get lost and think it's magical and beautiful or whatever. I just want people to like it. I feel like that would be fun. And maybe, like, it makes them want to get up and go make something, too. Like, yeah, I feel like I want my work to be inspiring so that other people can go create really cool art, whether it's fantasy art or not. I just want it to be inspiring to people to go make stuff. And I just want people to find it pretty. Like, I feel like I also just want people to kind of forget about stuff for a moment and to look at the piece and kind of absorb all the details, you know? I don't really do that many conceptual pieces, but the pieces I do do... Uh, I, I really just want to, I want them to be pretty and I want people to like them. Uh, I am starting to do more conceptual work and for the conceptual stuff, I'd love if people saw it and actually saw the message and everything. But in general, I just want people to like my stuff and to um, just, again, like get lost for a moment because I think that's really cool when art can be kind of like a sanctuary or some type of getaway for the viewer. And you better believe I've written papers about that. <laughs> like, that's a good, that's like one of my main, like, main points when I'm writing papers for scholarships or why I want to go to art school and stuff. I just want to, like, learn how to make people forget about how shit life can be sometimes and just see something really pretty and get lost and just feel better. So, okay, that's my answer. <laughs> um, the second to last question is, if I could create only one style of artwork, what would it be? And I just want to make my type of style, I think. I'd want to learn maybe a little bit more about proportion and, again, lighting and composition. But I'd love to stick with this pop surreal theme. Maybe um, elaborate more on it and incorporate more themes and animals and landscapes into it. But I really like what I'm doing, and I'd love to just m keep improving upon like, you know, this, like, pop surrealism fan fantasy type style. Um, maybe eventually, again, like, I'd love to do dramatic lighting pieces and vast landscapes and do, like, game art almost. But not really, like, game concept art, but do pieces that look almost like it could be, like, World of Warcraft concept art, you know? Um, but yeah, I just want to I just want to keep growing with this um, fantasy art and see how crazy I can make it get <laughs> um, and yeah I think I think that's a good answer for that one um the last question is what advice would I give to my younger self okay guys <laughs> so I'm actually finishing up this voiceover the next day um I ran out of time and to, like edit and stuff and um I completely forgot that I never finished the voiceover yesterday um I don't remember what question I was on I think it was like what advice would I give to my younger self <laughs> Um, and I think, I feel like the advice I'd give would probably be to just start sooner and to stop stressing about art and just have fun with it. 
Um, however, I'm going to think of a, ben a better answer and I'm going to put it down in the description below. Um, and I'm also just, I just finished like working on like the actual like video itself um, without like editing the audio. And the colors for the painting throughout the piece are very like light like there's not a lot of contrast in them so the final image that i'm going to post is going to be as accurate as i can possibly get it but for some reason my camera is having a weird time picking up like the vibrancy and the um like the deepness of like her cheeks and stuff but yeah um i think that's about all i have to say for this video thank you again so much for watching and again thank you marnie nicole fine art for tagging me in this tag i will tag four more wonderful artists down below to try out this awesome tag and i hope you found this speed paint really interesting and again if you have any questions whatsoever about the painting please comment down below i will get back to all of the comments and i freaking love you guys so 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 much have an awesome rest of your day and i will see you all in the next video Bye, guys.